Hey, and welcome to EdTech Hustle. Today, we're going to be talking a little bit about editing a video with a green screen. So if that's what you're doing, I've got the best solution for you, for free that is, and that is Microsoft's online editor, ClipChamp. So you can just go to office.com, create an account, and you can access ClipChamp. To do that, just click on your tiles on the top left-hand side of the screen and open ClipChamp. I'm also going to leave a card in the top right hand side of the screen to walk you through getting started. So what we are going to do is to go to create a new video. So here we are to the interface of ClipChamp. Now it looks kind of plain, but things will change once I import the media that I need. And in this case, I need to import the two videos I have with a green screen background. And here they are. You can see one is a goldfish. The other is this woman doing kind of this awkward dance, I guess. All right, so let's start with this one first. I'm just going to take this and add this to the timeline by just clicking that plus button. It now pops up down below. If I take my playhead, just kind of drag it to the left, and I play this, you can see I've got this video of this woman dancing. All right, so now what I want to do is to remove the green, and in a second, we'll replace the background. So I just have to make sure that my clip is selected, and then I want to go all the way to the right-hand side, where I'm going to choose effects. Now, there's a number of different effects from the screen. You can see some of them right over here. So what I want to do it's here somewhere, but I'm just going to make this a little bit easier, and I'd recommend you do this as well, is I'm just going to search for a green screen, because that's what I know I want. So I'll take green screen, I'm just going to tap on green screen, and just like that, take a look at this. This background has been removed. And I have to say, I've used a number of different programs that have this feature. You can see that there's not really those edges that you normally see in here, so I feel that in this case... ClipChamp does a great job with that green screen removal. Now, in the event that it doesn't, you can adjust it a little bit this way. Also, if you have a different color for your background, it will also allow you to do a blue or a red color. So just keep that in mind. What it doesn't have is the color selector, which sometimes will let you select the color that you want to remove. Okay, so this looks pretty good, but now what I need is a background. And I can easily upload my own video if I want, but in this case, I'm going to take advantage of the ClipChamp content library. And from here, I'm just going to do a search. Let me just do like a disco background. All right, if I go to visuals, and you'll notice in the corner, these are premium assets, which would be nice to use, but I don't have a premium account, so I'm just going to filter for free assets. And man, that really uh, looks like that cuts down some of the choices, which it will do, but no problem, because I can just upload my own video if I need to. But in this case, let me just take this one. I'm just going to take it. We'll drag it underneath, and just kind of like that. Okay, looks like that's importing. In a second, I should have it. There we go. Now, when I play it, you can see we've got our dancing person at the bottom. Now, what I will have to do because the background is shorter than the actual green screen video is maybe just take this and paste that and paste that again. What ClipChamp does, does again, which is nice, is just allow you to sort of remove any of the gaps there. So when you paste this, it doesn't have to be super precise. You can just sort of remove the gaps this way. Let me trim this down. And there we go. All right. Perfect. Now, that is my first video clip. Now what I want to do is show a little bit of, uh, uh, use a clip that I think might be a little bit more of a challenge. And that's this one of these goldfish swimming, presumably, in a tank, right? Now, why I think this one may be more challenging is because you can see that there's there's going to be some green that gets in between the, the narrow spaces in these gills. I want to do a fax, sorry, and I want to do a green screen. There we go. Let's play this a little. Okay, so like I said, you can kind of see the green a little bit, but this is where I'd probably want to play around with this threshold, maybe adjust it. It may never be completely perfect for something that's a more complex um, video like this, but for the most part, I think it looks okay. So then let's just go back to this area. This time I'm going to do, uh, let's just do water. All right, how about underwater? Here's one that I think might work. I've got this one, I'll just paste that one, drag some stuff down. Let's give this a shot. See how this looks in one second. 
get rid of this, move my plate here. Let's let's give this a shot. All right, there we go. So, you know, not terrible. It's also not perfect. But again, this one is a tough image to use for a green screen because of that, that the area between the gills. But that's it. From here, in ClipChamp, I can add audio. I can do a narration. So many different things that I can do when once I'm finished. If I just select this button to export, I can export up to 1080p for free using the free version of ClipChamp. So that's it. So if you want to film a green screen video, replace the background. Background. It's really easy to do with ClipChamp, and yes, it's 100% free. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment area below. And if you like this content, go ahead and subscribe. And if you really like it, it would be awesome if you could leave a donation. So thank you so much, and have a great day.